everyone welcome to k news 24 7. my name is cameron case achieves played a nil nil draw yesterday against moroka solos to be honest as case achieves we didn't come to the party we didn't create more scoring opportunities first half we had just one goal attempt where ranga chivaviro got a good header but daniel Agbe was there to save that one and it becomes a rebound. Ashley to praise Wakatelela, but unfortunately, he was also on an offside position. That was the only chance first half. And see, keys achieves, we were not showing hunger. We were not dangerous to our opponents. We Moroga Solos. As fans, we had high expectations because Ikeza achieves came from a disappointment. Gunet Bank Cup where we lost uh, Guma penalties against a club Legumutsibe in Milford. Losing against Milford as fans, we expected to see Kays Chiefs guns blazing. But all that didn't happen. We saw the opposite. They were calm, they were relaxed, not posing any threat, not, not, not creating scoring opportunities. So I'm disappointed for that one. From midfield going up front, see Kaiser Chips who are not dangerous. We don't create uh, these passage passes that uh, we are not posing any threats. I'm a short sweet too. They are nowhere. They are nowhere. So we need to work on our attacking strategies. Because defensively, let's be honest, we have improved a lot. In the previous six matches, we just considered one goal in the previous seven actually in the previous seven matches we considered one goal that's where we played a draw against Sekukune United so Ubrutz Vuma out of seven games he managed to keep six clean sheets six clean sheets this is positive highly positive so be up to our defense they did very well Going to second half, we lost a key player, a centre back, Dove Edmilson, who was marvellous to watch uh, from the beginning of the game till that moment. So he got a red card for fouling Capadinho Mango, who was about to score. So he took one for the team, Dove Edmilson. We don't know if J. Beganga Komitanga that foul, we don't know the results. But looking at Ubrutz Vuma, he was far away from closing space for Capatino Mango to score. That's why Dovet Milson decided to, to do what he, he did, to foul Umango. And he, he deserved that red card because he stopped a, a, a goal-scoring opportunity from Imoroka Solus. And for that occasion, I can blame our midfield. Uh, no communication there because we saw Castillo passing a ball to Yusef Matt. Matt lost the ball and Capatino Mango was given a straight pass. Looking at Dovet Melsen, he was a last man standing. Nako na beganga pegananga benga si one v one. Big up behind Umango. Umango was going to score. So big up to Udov. He ran a, 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 as quick enough and then Wakonage. And he saved us. Today we could have speaking something different. Gube si furious as fans. Losing again. So he saved us. Udovet Melsen. So that's where Ike is achieves. Itale konage ugbani stamina. Because we are under pressure. Now we are playing a one man down. Six na ten players in the field. It manje is under pressure. So that's where we saw Kaiser Chiefs started playing. I think that was the better Kaiser Chiefs. Even our changes were, were more effective. Uh, Sbonabo Dylan Solomons being introduced. He was incredible, Solomons. I think he's a super sub. Dylan Solomons came in replacing Keegan Dooley because we had to remove somebody up front in order to add a defender to fill up that gap of Udov Edmilson who got a red card. 
So Utema Range no Solomon, he played a, a right back. And then Uzi Takunika wa move from right back to play E4 and 5 to fill that gap of Udovet Melsen. From Solomon's, he have good runs. Begi ile right back le ekwa ziku api pambili trying to create scoring opportunities ama cut back that's where we started getting ilendolena ama free kick near the 18 area of our opponents ogui maroka solus. We got another free kick bexile ganganje to end up as a goal. For me I think a player like Dylan Solomons is needed as a super sub because agawa himi sama opponent he got pace, hunger and he's a chance taker. Unongena bon wutin valile. And the only way to stop him is to put him down. Which can give us a free kick. If he's inside the box, that's a penalty. So I think a player like Solomons is needed. Just in je ukharasa ilentole it defense yama opponents. He's like ulentole usail. All of them they have same mentality. They have style of play. Amarana boy too. Even though the execution it is not that well, but for Klumez, these players are good. We played a draw, which is another disappointment, because as fans, we expected Kaiser Chiefs to fight harder, to create more scoring opportunities until that one goal, he landed in, and then started the three point. But that didn't happen, even though uh, we have some good things to talk about also. We saw a young player like Wandi Leduba coming in into the field, replacing Ranga Chivavero. That player have potential. I see hope in our youngsters. It's been a while for us to but he grabbed that opportunity. He tried to shoot outside the 18 area, which is something that shows confidence, shows belief, shows bravery to, a, to this young player. Only a game time can improve this player. That last 10 minutes, last 15 minutes, last 20 minutes can mold, can build Wandele Duba to be the striker that we don't have in the club. Because being honest, we don't have that proper striker. So that's the good thing I can talk about uh, from the match. And not forget our left back, Hippie Mashian. Ah, it's marvelous to watch. I thought against Milford it was because Milford they were not attacking. But he did the same thing against Ilendole in Morocco Solus. His performance was marvelous. He have a, a beautiful left educated foot. They say that. I don't know why they say educated foot. But really, it, it is educated. Even if I don't know which, why they say it's educated. Aye guys, come on. Each and every pass from Mashian, each and every cross from Mashian. Unfortunately, we don't have good headers at Naturen. First touch, Mashian. His first touch. It's rare where he loses the ball. His first touch is always accurate. He's not that skilled. Anga Gazboni tip over as, as someone or, or, or up high. But maybe it's because he's, he's, he's a left back, no need to be that skilled. But he's marvelous, guys, Omashian. And he, he's improving. From Milford to late game yesterday against Solos, I see a lot of improvements from Omashian. And so far, uh, I'm no longer worrying about Usfisosan to go to uh, what if they don't extend his contract. Even if they don't extend Lanti's contract, it looks like. Kiza Chief's plan is on Hippie Mashian. I see a success. Hippie Mashian is a success, guys. He stayed in the bench for so long, but he didn't lose hope. He didn't lose hope. So, what I have realized at Kiza Chiefs, what is missing actually? I was watching a, another series. They call it Revolution. It's an old series. Where there was a blackout, can be gay some shaba wong, and then things started uh, afresh. And at the end of the series, they asked that guy Miles, "What are you fighting for?" Because he have been fighting 
ever since the blackout. But it looks like he's fighting a losing battle because he had no papers. What is he fighting for? And he was asked that question. What are you fighting for? Kaiser Chiefs players. They are playing. But they don't have that papers. Nothing is clicking to them. We are playing. But this is what we are playing for. This is what we are fighting for. We want to go to Champions League or Confederations Cup. But we are just talking. No action. It looks like we don't know what we are playing for. We are playing without papers. We think we are playing without mission. We are just playing. We will see with the results at the end of the game. We will see how far are we in the log at the end of the season. We don't have that papers. We don't have a drive. That's what is leaking at Naturena. No motivation. So I don't know how. Because each and every club that is playing in the DSTV Premiership or in the PSL, NFD or anywhere, the purpose is to play for first place in the log. But looking at how Kays achieves plays, looks like they don't know that. Now we have a chance to get number two or number three. It's highly possible. There's still time. We still have a lot of matches in hand. But because of we don't realize that. We were too relaxed against Solos. That shows we don't care about the finishing. What is Tina Sugupi on the log? Tina, as long as we are not relegated, we'll try again next season. So that's what is missing. We don't have any drive. We don't have papers. So, hey, Angas, Buffett. What are making sense? Time for questions. Okay. My first question is, do you think the pairing of Edson Castillo and Yusef Matt is the good one? Is it yes or no? And you can elaborate on that. Okay, let me give you uh, my opinion on this. Because it's been two games now, seeing Castillo no Matt playing together in the midfield. So, okay, it's a good combo. But something is missing. Not just something, someone is missing. Because you can't have all offensive players in the middle. Who will defend? We don't have a bodyguard there. We don't have a guardian angel. Someone who will stay, who will create stability in the middle. Apelela Pama Paul. That's where the problem is. And if you, you can look at uh, that ball, that pass where Matt lost the ball. That pass be Yawukapatinyo Mango. If there was a defensive midfielder there, somebody who is staying there guarding that place. Lea pass being a melang. Because the moment too much I lose the ball, Belio Pelela go go central defensive midfield. But because we didn't have that player, look what happened. So all of our players in the middle, they are offensive minded. So, Nwari is defensive. It's a good thing. But it looks like if we want to play like that, Melis Pindes later another player to play in the middle. Seven are four players in the middle. Which means our formation has to change. We need to play 3-4-3. Three, three. That's the only solution. Ntetwa is needed there to stabilize the midfield. Because all the other three guys are offensive minded. That's my opinion. Question number two. Was it necessary for David Milson to commit that foul? That red card, was it necessary? Let me know. When I look at that situation, I see a two way street. What he did was necessary. And also, he could have let Ubrut Fuma to deal with it and give it a chance. But it will depend on what is the end result. If he left that ball and let Upruz Vuma to deal with it and then Upvuma Walbamba, we could say big up to Upvuma. But if Upvuma Agalbambi, we blame Udov. Why you let a player go? Why you is totally red card? So I think 
Dove took a wise decision. That was the first thing that came in mind. If it end up at the back of the net. We're not in about this. Last question. Where Keza Chiefs can play Dylan Solomons? Because we all want this player. We were all once complaining, but where is Solomons? Where is Solomons? Where do you think this player will be more suitable at Keza Chiefs? Anyway, on the DSTV Premiership log table, we are on number 6 with 26 points. Number 5 is Stellenbosch FC with 28 points. Number 4 is Orlando Pirates with 29 points. Number 3 is Super Sport United with 31 and also Cape Town City on number 2 with 31. Mamelodi Sundowns at the top with 42 points. And our next game is on the 5th of March against Lemontville Golden Arrows. After that one, uh, it's Soweto Derby against Orlando Pirates on the 9th of March. Cosi Nation, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love the content, consider yourself subscribing to the channel. I will see you next time with something else.